emergency responders put their lives on the line every day to protect the rest of us. But several studies have shown the struggles and nature of the job have led to high suicide rates, much higher than the general population. But there is help. As Michael Crow reports, many gathered today to start those conversations. Mental health is a tough subject to talk about. Very few agencies know where to start. But starting the conversation is a life or death issue for first responders. How much are we doing as a profession to train living well, to point them in that direction? That's what's happening here in Burien at the First Responder Conference on Mental Health and Wellness. The things that we see and endure throughout our careers um, can be tough. It's a tough job. It's a tough profession. Helping give people the tools to process that in themselves, coworkers, and their families. And so it's super important to talk about those things so um, that you don't fill your bucket and it overflows um, because that leads to unhealthy behavior. King County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Thomas founded these conferences. This is the 18th since 2016. Addressing a critical need, research shows first responders are more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty. Basically the whole conference is to let people know you're not alone and that there's a lot of confidential resources out there, so please reach out because there's a lot of folks that want to help. That's why Kathy Browning likes her job as a firefighter in Tequila. Um, I know the, the cliche answer is helping people, but I really do love helping people. But now she also knows she needs to help herself as well. Kind of hit a brick wall. I knew some tools to take care of myself, but I wasn't utilizing them, and nor was I telling anyone that maybe I needed some help. I really do think that uh, a starting point for any agency is training. And that's the goal here. Uh, and agency-wide. Start the conversation and keep it going to make sure these first responders can, too. Um, we get a lot of great feedback. And then we also get people calling us saying, thank you so much. It was wonderful. And you actually saved my life. Michael Crow, King 5 News.